In this lesson, I want to explain snap tools. In a move menu, we have a snap tool. Snap to ground, snap tool. Okay, for example, in a 3D model, <coughs> in a house planet, I will be insert this. As you can see, it insert in not in ground. If you want, in this uh, moment, this uh, scene is a little about the ground. Here, <coughs> you can uh, uh, snap to ground. As you can see, it's snap to ground, but not this floor. If you want to uh, snap to floor, you can uh, snap to the object. You can uh, see the shortcuts and use them for fast using. G, N, A, 5. A snap to object in and here the software tell you uh, the in this part the software speak to you and tell you and guide you select the object you want to snap to i want to snap in this part in this folder as you can see it's completely a snap as you can see we have an unbounding box because the dynamic snap will be active that will explain that later uh, for example you want to align this that plane exactly the place that does not intersect the that wall as you can see it's go to the wall it's not correct and i have to look at the rope rotting around and we have some issues and uh, time consuming process you can simply hit five in a keyboard or uh, <clears throat> remember those uh, these uh, shortcuts because it's making your process scene building very fast. Five to dynamic. As you can see, a bounding box will be appear. This bounding box is around the object. As you can see, it's around the object. And just click and drag. As you can see, it is snapped to the floor. And click and drag. As you can see, it's automatically a snap to the wall. And you sure that it does not, it's, uh, exactly beside the wall but not going through the wall or you can see the snap here for example in this mark if you want to align it exactly to this part but does not go through that you can simply click and drag as you can see it automatically snapped in. it's very useful useful and simple for example Mm, uh, for example, you insert that object in your scene. You have to sign in and then download. Use item. As you can see, it's in this direction. You can simply click and drag it. It's automatically a snap to that object. Or you can bring it here and automatically a snap to the ground. And a snap to the this. As you can see it's bounding box it's bounding box snap because this part of the object is the bounding box of that as you can see it's automatically a span a line but in this uh, situation i want this more going inside some situation the object that has a lot of parts the bounding box does not work correctly because it's uh, exactly a cubic object and bounding around that object or for example you want to um, bring uh, chairs for example or a furniture anything that you want beside that wall and you can simply snap it if you want we can bring the chair and arrange them here with dynamic snap if you want for example click and drag it here as you can see it's automatically snapped exactly to the wall okay okay oh the bounding box of that wall as you can see, it's like this. Sometimes the bounding box and the dynamic setup does not work because of that. The object continue in this direction and the bounding box goes exactly around whole the object. 
and you can see that chair just snap to the this bounding box, not to the that. This is a limitation of the uh, snap object. So we learn a lot of uh, interesting snap. A snap to the ground, a snap to the objects. It's very useful. You have to uh, take it in your mind, this shortcut. N, it's very useful. And align. For align, <clears throat> it's very useful and powerful. For example, I have this object going to the transform. Uh, first, turn off the... Okay. For example, I have an object. I have an object in this direction and this object in the space and it's not correct direction. I want to align this object to the that object. Hit escape to deselect everything. Going to the align, the shortcut is very simple, A. Will, uh, window will be open and <clears throat> first you have to define which object you want to align. Select that and then select to the object that you want. This object goes to this part and it means, yes, I want to align that object. You have to specify the first point of the alignment. <clears throat> I want this direction of this surface aligned to the that surface. Click that, click here. As you can see, an arrow will be appear here that it's uh, in a normal direction of that uh, <clears throat> polygon or surface. And then you don't need to select that. Just select the second alignment point. Click, and as you can see, it's snapped to the that point and aligned to that. But as you can see, it's just aligned <clears throat> exactly this surface to this surface but if you want to align the rotation for example exactly like this you need what you need to align for example this surface to that surface in here okay hit okay and you have to <clears throat> hit a again to align the object i want to align this object select that select this object select the first point this point, as you can see, this surface, I want to align to the that surface. And as you can see, it's exactly aligned. It's aligned the position and of course align the position and uh, degree of that. Because of that is going, uh, the point that you are selecting is very important. So it is very simple you can uh, activate five and just click to snap it to the floor. It's very simple. And hit space again. And as you can see, we can uh, use, an, use align and uh, snaps to align the objects. It's very simple. And hit OK. If you want to align it again in a, another direction, you have to uh, bring the alignment tool again. So the uh, position of the click is very important. It's exactly alignment in that position and that direction. And remember the shortcuts very important. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.